Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5072033 because of these error codes that is. So if you're receiving one of these errors, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run these, these command. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt tab, make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan. The scan will take some time. And once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete over here, then run the, copy the third command, paste it on the same window. And once the third scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working, open Windows settings, go to Windows update. Over here you can see pause option, click on pause over here and then click on resume updates. And once it is done, now try to install and then check. Still not working, type in services in Windows search box, click on services. Find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then make a right click on app readiness, click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then make a double click on, uh, make a right click on app back, background intelligent and then click on restart. Now once this is done, find windows update in the list. So scroll down somewhere at the bottom, you will find windows update, make a double click on windows update, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click on Windows update, click on restart. And then you can go back to Windows settings, Windows update. If you see the retry option, hit retry and then check. check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. For this, you can open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. It will take you to Microsoft update catalog website. Over here, write down the name of the update that is KB5072033 over here and then click on search. Now check your Windows version. So type in W-I-N-V-E-R in Windows search box and then click on WinVer run command. Windows version, in my case, it's version 2.5H2. So check your version and then open Windows settings, go to system, scroll down, go to about option. Over here you can see system type. So check your system type. For me it's X64. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 base system. If you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For this is the right one for me. Now click on download. And over here, you will find KB5072033. Click on it and then let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually. And then once that is done, restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Open Windows settings. Go to Windows update. Go to advanced option over here, scroll down, go to recovery option. And here you can see fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see media creation tool. Now click on download now and then you can run this exe file and then you have to click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop click on save let the download complete this process will take some time once done click on finish and let this close automatically it will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close once done go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation you can log into the log into the computer and then try to update your windows 11. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.